What's up, everyone? Many doctors cite poor indoor air quality as one of the main causes of respiratory problems and allergies. The reason behind this is very simple. Our daily environment contains a multitude of fume-releasing chemicals, while new and more powerful viruses and bacteria constitute a growing threat. However, you can protect your family with the help of a high-quality air purifier that helps rid your home of these polyatins, germs, and irritants. If you are wondering about how air purifiers work, we can help. In this video, we are here to help you understand the basics, even if you don't know anything about these devices. By the end of this video, you'll know the ins and outs of air purifiers. If you want even more information, check out the links in the description below. If you have any other helpful tips, be sure to leave them in the comments. All right, here we go. So how do air purifiers work? An air purifier is the best solution for homes whose residents are sensitive to various allergens. Allergens such as pollen, bacteria, smoke, pet dander, mold spores, viruses, and other polytins cause damage to your lungs and immune system. Unfortunately, most of these irritants are not visible to the naked eye. Air purifiers filter polytins and allergens that are seen and unseen by the human eye with the help of filter, ozone, or electrical attraction. Air filters use fine sieves that filter particles from the air circulating around us. As the air flows into the air purifier, the sieve inside traps the small particles and pushes the clean air outside back into the living space. This process repeats itself many times in an hour, thus keeping your environment healthy. The finer the sieve, the more minute particles it can trap. First, let's talk about different kinds of air purifiers. First up is the ionizer air purifier. These are also known as air ionizers, working on the principle of the ionization of molecules. They emit negatively charged ions into the air to capture dander, pollen, dust, and any other form of air pollution. This is possible because an airborne particle mainly contains a positive charge. These particles then form a bond between them, which makes them a little heavier than usual. As a result, they fall to the ground and or become trapped on an electrostatic collection plate. Unlike other purifiers that require filter changes, ionizers may only need the cleaning of the ionizer plate, which is way more cost-effective. Next are ozone air purifiers. While traditional filters keep out airborne polyatins, different kinds of allergens, and other particulate matter, Ozone air purifiers use high-voltage electrical currents that convert oxygen to ozone. Ozone is a powerful oxidant that breaks down molecules and microorganisms in the air. This type of purifier is mainly used to eliminate bad odors rather than remove allergens and particles from the air. Hence, if you're going to use an ozone air purifier, it'd be best to pair it up with another purifier that will filter out particles. It's also worth noting that ozone can have harmful effects on the body, so it's not ideal for domestic use. Next up is the water air purifier. Water air purifiers are some of the most affordable purifiers on the market. You'll save a fortune with these devices. However, they aren't half as effective in cleaning the air and trapping particles as other purifiers. They work by shooting your home's dirty air into a water basin. That makes all the contents of the air wet, rendering them immobile. Once the air has been filtered by the water in your air cleaner, it'll usually then be further processed by your machine. We also have the fanless air purifier. Fanless air purifiers are also relatively budget-friendly. However, they have to be placed where air passes through the room since they don't have a fan to draw the air inside the house. These types of purifiers aren't effective when eliminating foul odors and only work to trap dust, pet dander, pollen, and other particles. And lastly, we have electrostatic air purifiers. These purifiers usually work by drawing in particles with a fan and charging them using a series of high-voltage wires. They have several plates also called precipitating cells that carry the opposite electrical charge. Since opposite charges attract, 
The particles are attracted by the plates as they pass through that section. These types of purifiers have an efficiency of about 95%, so they can't be fully relied on. Additionally, the electrostatic plates will need to be replaced over time. This kind of purifier can also produce ozone when it's used frequently. Now you know the basics of air purifiers and can use what you've learned to your benefit. Love this content? Be sure to press the like button and subscribe so you never miss a video. If you have further questions, let us know in the comments below and check out the links in the description for even more on this topic. Thanks for stopping by, see you in our next video.